right, we're checking out the only game where the best way to pick up your Bud Light in a hurry is to just run your plane directly into Florida. <laughs> it's Solar Smash. You know what the creator of Solar Smash did to Solar Smash? He shoved a bunch of secrets into it. You know what I'm really bad at? Finding secrets. One of the ones I did find though, is that you can completely control the plane if you do certain things in a certain way. And I can't wait to use this plane to molest the planet in horrifying ways. Apparently the plane is invincible as long as you just keep shooting. Look at that, the earth is just like slapping the plane away. It's not actually trying to kill it. It's like, stop touching me. It also begs a lot of questions. Just how much crap can you do with this plane? The other thing is it allows the game to actually be like fully discoverable three dimensions. First question I know everyone has, can you blow up the sun with the plane? Actually beyond that, I need to know if you can fly the plane into the sun. I'm not gonna lie, sun's a tough bastard. Can I leave this and then come back to it? Because if I can can keep this ship, grab this, hold on now, move this up, blow up the sun, then go back to the ship. Does the ship get melted when the sun comes in? Hold on, oh, damn it, it does! Ah, the ship blew up over there! The earth is like, now you know how it feels, Gray, you bastard! Solar Smash is the only game where I misclick and 200 million people die. I did not mean to do that. One of the things I want to test is to see if you can control any of these other things, and then I have to make that plane do all sorts of stuff that it's probably not meant to do in this game. Like, I want to see if I can, like, go into Cthulhu's dimension and stuff with it, or get in the way of the fist of the space cowboy. Luckily, the Earth provides the perfect target and canvas for such testing. Not because it volunteered, but because it can't run away. It's like a hunter hunting an ear of corn. Ears of corns are living creatures too, damn it. They just don't really say much when you bite into them. All right, so here's the meteorite. Can you do anything with it? You can hold down this button and you will throw meteorites at very, very fast speed. The best part is I don't even have to like click or anything. It just happens on its own. It's like a meteorite centipede. Hold on, just real fast. All right, go here and then. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, I'm trying the uh, the World Destroyer missile here just to see if it does anything. I wonder if I can shoot this thing out of the sky with the planes. Shit, I misclicked. Remember how I said when you do that, you basically destroy the planet without trying? Well, piss. All right, do this. Wait until my plane comes in that I can pilot. There we go. Hold on, let me move this over to the side. Get out of this. Go into the missile this, slow things down because this is gonna be a pain in my ass. Get out of this. There's so much you have to do. Okay. Uh. Damn it. There we go. That was a direct hit. I have a feeling it didn't do anything though. Oh, I, you, you still make the things happen when you have two things going at once. So not only am I flying the plane, but I can't shooting all of the world obliterators as well, Jesus. On the plus side, you get a front row seat to watching what effectively microwaves the core of the earth. See, it actually lifts up from the planet as we can see here. Uh, that's the souls <laughs> of everyone in Florida. I know this looks bad, but I put like SPF 100 on my fighter space plane before I decided to annihilate all of mankind. Yeah, it's really radioactive in here. I never, never really went this deep before. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna wait for those comments. What in the hell? Where are these damn things even coming from? Thing like did a 90 degree angle to get at the core. All right, I do have to see if I can fly the plane into the sun because I think that's, that's something every pilot dreams of. All right now, I, I expect that this would take forever, so. Hopefully you can manipulate time while doing this. Oh, thank God you can. A little bit of a pain in the ass to fly, but it definitely works. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like going to Florida. What the hell? Oh, I can spawn this like indefinitely if it dies. I don't think you can get to the sun though. I don't know if I ran out of gas or just ran out of the will to live. Doing a flyby on Africa. Okay, my flyby was Probably a little bit too close. Some dude fishing in the ocean just got the top of his sailboat sawed off by my plane. Oh my God. When you hold down the button for the lightning, it is awful. Hold on. 
I gotta, we gotta back up to really experience that again because it's bad, man. <laughs> Look at how ridiculous this is. It's like a giant Tesla coil. It's like a Tesla coil on meth. A methla coil, if you will. All right, how about the black holes? Does it do anything unusual? Anything weird? I mean, obviously you can, you can spawn like six billion. Oh God, it's destroying the game. Oh, this is just what I wanted in life. Oh, it's glorious. Glitch, my son. It's black holeception. Um, I spawned like a billion black holes and it looks like, oh, Australia's still around. Hey, look at that, there's still four billion people left. Like the most benevolent I've ever been. Which means we have to try the moon next. All right, Australia. Now this is, there's nothing against Australia, but it makes like a really good center area on the earth, if you notice. It's like dead center where I'm positioned right now. So this is perfect for this test. Alrighty. Oh, whenever the game stagnates, that's pretty much exactly what I'm going for. All right, get a whole slew of these going here. Yep, that is perfect. All right, don't really know why they're starting to go upward. Not sure why they're totally just getting pissed off at physics. Don't know why. Wonder if I can shoot the moons. Hold on, slow everything down. Where's my brave pilots at? All right, moon, I'm coming for your ass. You attacked the wrong damn planet. Earth is where I keep my stuff. Oh, you actually can shoot the moons. Hell yes. Drink my tachyon space urinade. Now I'm wondering if you can shoot the other planes. <laughs> Doesn't look like this game's like defend Earth. You ass must be crazy. Hold on, if you if you line up perfectly, if you line up perfectly, come on. <laughs> ah, why are they faster than me? How come I got the sh engine? No, everything just goes through them. All of my squad mates are like, that's what happens. You got the eco model. You wanted better gas mileage. So. Um, I probably screwed this test up. I wanted to see if I spawned the plane as far away as possible, if I could pew pew my way through the core of the earth. Uh, but what I didn't think about is that because I still had the planet destroyers selected, my pew pew was also using the planet destroyers. You can see how many extras spawn and never even got to touch the earth. Actually, I think this means, hold on. Oh yeah. If I use the beam as the item for this, I can actually pew pew the beam. Hell yes. I have no idea what happened, but I broke the game. You're not supposed to be able to be inside the plane for this long, but like I'm permanently in it now. It's supposed to kick you out after it goes past a certain distance, but can I crash to get out of this? There we go. I couldn't get to the sun. It just stayed like the same distance away. There's like a, an invisible box around the earth. Oh, I just realized since I can control that ship, there's something I have to try. All right, hold on. Let me aim this right about here since this this gets things moving so much faster than me getting carpal tunnel syndrome. All of them. Get in there. I want at least 1,000. Now before, the game used to break with around 40 of these. So uh, I hear it's been optimized a little bit more, so it sh everything should be fine. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so I need this to not shoot at that. I've stuffed the entire core full of those things. So I'm gonna use the planes over here. I'm gonna do this and then this and then fly my plane over here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Hold on, I've gotta, I've gotta do this in slow-mo once we get close enough. Oh hey, I'm moving into the rotation of the earth too. Couldn't plan this any better. All right, slow everything down. Aim on up. And here we go. <laughs> oh, Earth, you are my, you are my greatest self-portrait of agony. Now you will look how I feel. I, oh my God, hold on. I can't see anything. Jesus. I'm scrolling out as much as humanly possible, but it's doing nothing. So that got detonated and somehow 6.6 .6 billion people are still left alive. I feel cheated. On the plus side, the people that I failed to kill were apparently saved by my frame rate that jumped in the way because it's now about one. I'm lining up like a million of the punchy guys to see if I can fly into the fist. All right, should be right around where the guy's punching, right about here, if I have this aimed up correctly. Again, because I spawned so many of the damn guy. Jesus! I was gonna say I'm at like one FPS. I'm still alive, so I'm giving it one more shot. Come on, punch. Punch before I hit the wall. Punch before I hit the wall. 
The punch is gonna go straight up my ass, or at least it should. Do it. There it is. The ass punch of a lifetime. <laughs> Just to double check. I spawned like 50 more of them. I'm one of those people that always says, you know, you can't be, you can't be too sure. Okay, I'm over here doing the freaking canyon run. Okay, I was right in line with the punch and it looks like it does go straight through the plane. Okay, I'm checking to see if I can run into the shield. You may be asking yourself, Gray, why would you want to do that? The real question is why wouldn't you? See, everyone else turns away because they're weak. <laughs> You can crash, you can absolutely crash into the shield. Don't be bitch. Come on, hit the shield. It's like a rite of passage. It's like being nine years old again and make it a, a ramp for your BMX bike out of plywood and tetanus. Can you drive the shield? No. I was checking to see if you could drive the, uh, the UFOs. You can't do that either. How about the thing that makes the planet sad? So what happens when it's going around and the shield is like part way in the way? Does it have like a nice little, like that one spot on earth that doesn't get obliterated? It does. It's like a small part of Africa over here. I said I was going to try and fly into Cthulhu's home realm. So that has to happen. Alrighty, get Florida lined up here. Grab my plane. Slow things down. Get Cthulhu involved. Go back into my plane. Oh, dimension of darkness, take me home. This is the closest that you'll ever get to Cthulhu's tentacles. Can I shoot him? I have no idea if this is working or not. Hold up! I don't even know where I'm pulling to. I'm not pulling anything. It's doing it for me. What the hell? Ah, you can actually see the tentacles I'm inside of them. Cthulhu's like, ah, that's too intimate, get out. Now you know what it's like, you bastard. Ooh, look, it's like gripping me. We're going home, everyone. Wait, Cthulhu, come back. I already paid for this trip. It's like an Uber that didn't take me to where I wanted to go. You're gonna get one star, you bastard. I'm trying to go for the portal anyway, just to see what happens. It looks like it's gonna close up and what the hell? What the hell? What is this? The tentacles are still here. Why? What the hell happened? It's like he tried to leave and he got his nipples caught in the door. I didn't really know what else to say. I don't think that Cthulhu has an ankle. I like how this happens to the earth and there's still 6.3 billion people left here. It's like, yeah, it's fine. Can you drive a space worm? Okay, that was, that was not what I clicked. I thought I was on the worm. I clearly wasn't. So here's another Cthulhu because you know what? You deserve it. Okay, now I'm on the space worm. Nope, nothing. Maybe I can fly into its hole. The, the hole that it makes when it eat, you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Now just follow the path. In fact, I may want to slow things down because I'm not the best driver. Hey, space worm, can you like, like widen this hole a little bit? Like stretch this thing out? It's kind of tight in here. Oh yeah, nothing quite like flying through the center of the earth. So this is uh, one of the other things that I learned about. Gotta give the earth a haircut and a shave. And then after the liposuction has taken off enough weight, you get a legitimate flat earth. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, Florida's looking good. What the hell happened there? Did I do that? I don't think I did that. Part of the earth just got annoyed, just decided to evaporate, took 162 million people with it. The time has come to fly a plane into flat earth. Actually, I kind of want to shoot through flat earth. It's not that thick, right? It's flat. I don't know where you guys are shooting at, but I appreciate that you left the entirety of the flatness to me. Oh God, I might not get through it. I just realized I'm blasting Canada. <laughs> I'm sorry, Canada. <gasps> I think, I think I made it through. Ah. Uh, I think it worked. Did I just get pooped out of flat earth? I totally did. Hold on, I can actually go through again and pop out the other side. Oh yes, it's so beautiful. All right, I gotta park this thing back down over in Southwest Florida. Yeet. I have to know what happens to these things that go in a circle when there's really not that much for them to blast. Oh, oh no. What the hell? They only took like the tiniest little part of the flat earth out and they were like, oh, this is boring. Can you still obliterate the sun? Oh yeah. Look at that. You should be thankful. I just turned the earth into a well-cooked pizza. Get it while it's hot. 500 million people are like, fuck Bruh. you. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and ride Cthulhu's tentacles on out of here. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.